Hey y'all, Retire With Less series, we are back. And uh, our monthly series of Retire With Less. Now, I wanted to kind of go into this. I usually do a rant, little PSA type thing in the middle, in the beginning of these things. And um, one thing I wanted to speak on today is um, who this is for, okay? Because I've been getting some messages like, why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? Or you should do this or you should do that. Um, I created this series, right? Going on well over two years now, successfully, by the way. Um, I wanted to show a paper trading portfolio and a income generation portfolio for the retiree specifically the retiree that has less than what the experts say that you need to retire on. So that's kind of where this is, right? Um, if you're 20 years old, could you do this? Absolutely. If you had $250,000. Um, but my motivation here is to uh, create something, a body of work, right with some proven back testing because these are real even though this is an real account these are real actual numbers and um I, I wanted to hopefully get some people in the later stages of life right like particularly uh, my channel is um typically between 40 and 50 years old right in that range Okay. I, I don't really get a whole bunch of younger people, but I'm sure they, they tune in because, you know, the, you see, you know, making money every month. Um, so that's where this is it. This is at. So um, a lot of people say, well, you should buy this instead of that or, or whatnot. And, you know, for the most part, you know, their ideas are great. Okay. But. I'm trying to put into this a mindset. It's kind of hard to do um, because I'm trying to create a uh, uh, someone that's going to be using this with a mindset of being retired, right? Um, no longer working, right? No longer having a guaranteed income coming in. Now, you might have some side hustles. Maybe you're on Social Security. That could be guaranteed income. But for the most part, I wanted this to um, give you a really good chunk of income every single month, right? Um, while not exposing yourself in a big way um, to the market, okay? Uh, now, I'm part-time retired, and I understand. I, I get this mindset, like... Um, I, Personally, in my account, I'm almost 50% cash. Now, is that a smart thing? Probably not over the long term, right? You probably should be invested. But for someone that doesn't have guaranteed income or is no longer working, having the cash cushion is extremely, extremely important. Okay, I, because I, I, I can feel it. Like when we have like, the market on Tuesday, which was the day I'm recording this, was down big. And, you know, if I'm 100% exposed to the market, I'd be a little, you know, nervous, I suppose. Um, but if I have a big cash cushion, then these swings in the market really is not um, as stressful as it would be if I were to be, you know, a hundred percent invested into the market or a hundred percent invested into Jeppy with no other uh, cash cushion, I'd be a nervous wreck. Okay. So that's, I, I hope that kind of clears up who this is for. It's really for the part-time retiree who needs to, uh, 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 you know, make a little extra money off of what they have. Or, you know, the full-time retiree who, uh, you know, is only getting a thousand bucks in Social Security, maybe they have a couple hundred grand in the market or, you know, in cash, and they can able to 
uh, generate a decent income each and every single month. But with a caveat, you don't have to do it every single month if you have that cash cushion. Okay. So that's where the mindset is on this. That's where my mindset is. The dryer's done. <laughs> and and uh, let's just get into it. So um, we're going to go over real quick January results. And here we go. Um, January, we had uh, covered calls on QQQ. Um, I think that's all we had. We had No, we had calls on um, SOXL as well. Uh, SOXL, we kept the shares, kept the premium. QQQ, uh, you'll see right here, February 17th, closed 301. We had covered calls at 300. So QQQ is gone. Uh, that $120,000 goes right back into our cash cushion. Okay. Um, SOXL, we're keeping those shares, 3,000 of them with a cost basis of 1667. Uh, so those calls that we sold there uh, expire worthless. On the small cap side, if you want to play small cap, we had uh, TNA. We had some puts, 15 contracts with a 36 strike. Those expired uh, worthless. Um, I should have pulled up the same thing I did over there, but I didn't. So... Let's take a look at February and see how we did. So February, you can see the NASDAQ, no shares. Those went away. It all went back into cash. So what did we do? Uh, we ended up selling some puts on the QQQ at 285. It's a little bit higher than I, um, than I wanted to be probably. Um, 282 is about where the support levels are. And uh, I just went with 285 just to be a little bit more aggressive. It's not a big chunk of change. It's 85,500 to secure these three put contracts uh, that we got $450 a piece for. So uh, in other words, if QQQ is $285 at the close of business on March 17th, 285 or lower, we will have to buy $85,500 worth of QQQ, which equals three contracts, which equals 300 shares. For that promise, we got paid $1,350. Now, SOXL, we have uh, 3,000 shares of SOXL, so we can sell up to 30 contracts, and we did, to March 17th. 30 call contracts at a strike price of $17, which is just above our cost basis. We were able to get $76 a piece for those for a total of $2,280. And then RYLD, I still haven't moved out of it. Um, you know, someone said swap this for Jeppy. Um, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, in theory, um, problem is Jeppy will throw off less income. Jeppy's a seven to eight percent pair. Uh, RYLD is giving you twelve percent. So um, it's one of those things. Do I realize a ten thousand dollar loss and and move it into Jeppy? Um, I'd have to invest more into Jeppy to get the same amount of income. Okay. It would probably be the smart move, but we haven't done it yet. But uh, 19.6 cents there. We do own, how many shares was it? 2,000 shares. That gave us $392 of income for the month. So grand total, we collected $4,022 in income for the month of February that we can use to pay our bills. Okay. Um, I do, uh, in this series, I requiring $3,000 a month. Okay. So anything over $3,000 is, uh, gravy. Okay. So our excess is $1,022 that goes into our cash pile. So cash for the month, we're, we're sitting on $212,774 in cash. 
Okay, because we got let go of those uh, QQQ here, QQQ shares. Um, now cash minus secured, uh, 127,274. What that means is uh, it's this amount minus how much we need to commit to those three contracts, which is 85,500. So, you know, total liquid cash that we have that we can go gamble with, <laughs> just kidding, don't go gambling, uh, is 127000 Two hundred and seventy-four dollars. So, the total on this equity value seventy-nine thousand. Excuse me, nine seventy. Quite a bit down because of SOXL and RYLD. Cash two hundred and twelve thousand seven seventy-four. Total portfolio value on this side two ninety-two seven forty-four. So, how did the small cap side do? Uh, if you remember. This side was the QILD side, which was, remember what I spoke about in the beginning, 100% invested into that equity. No cash cushion, no nothing. We require $3,000 a month. There was not enough. Uh, we ran out of time. We ran out of income in QILD. We didn't run out of income. It's still given income, but it wasn't producing $3,000 a month. So. Um, I went ahead and just, I was going to just nix this side, but we went ahead and went with small cap. We're doing aggressive again. Um, and just like last month, we did a 36 strike um, out to March 17th for a put. Uh, we own nothing in this. We're all cash in this on this side. And we sold 20 put contracts out to March 17th, $36 strike. So that means... On March 17th, if TNA, which is the 3X leveraged Russell 2000, we would need to buy 2,000 shares. Wait, 200? Nope. 2,000. <laughs> 2,000 shares. Is that right? Gosh, math is not my best friend today. That is correct. 2,000 shares. On March 17th, if TNA closes below $36, $36 or below, okay? And for that promise, we got paid $160 per contract or $3,200 for the month, okay? So we have a excess of $200 because we do require $3,000 to spend on our bills. Uh, and there we have it. So cash on this side, um, this started out at $250,000. QILD kind of eroded that, and that's when I put a stop to it, and we're now doing the small cap uh, 3X leverage trade to try to save it a little bit. Uh, we have $203,568 in cash. Cash minus secured, we're sitting on $131,568 in cash uh, because we have to set aside that money which is 72,000 to secure those 20 contracts, okay? So this one's pretty simple, $203,568 in cash, no equity value, no exposure to the market except for the put contract, okay? And that's it, that's it guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope uh, my commentary in the beginning helped clear up um, who I'm, I'm, I'm kind of designed this for, um, it's pretty much designed for me to be honest with you. Um, I don't have $250,000. Um, I'm probably halfway there. Uh, would I do this? Uh, I probably would. Um, but I enjoy the market. So, uh, a lot of you know that, you know, I, I'm, I trade options. That's kind of what I do for a living now. Um, and I'm not doing too bad, you know, as far as part time. OK, um, would I want to live on it? Probably not um, in my current situation. I'm talking about my real portfolio. Would I want to completely rely on it? No, um, I, it's a little too small of an account. Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to have some guaranteed income in there. Uh, but at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. We've been doing it for two years, especially on this side. Um, we've been doing it for two years. 
Uh, we got $34,000 in 2021, $36,000 in 2022. Um, you know, we're off to a good start in 2023. Uh, the portfolio value went from starting at $250,000 two years ago up to $292,000. Um, you know, so there you have it. Retire with less series. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, share this with some people. If you appreciate it, uh, use the Amazon link or whatever down there below. Uh, it just helps me out quite a bit, and I'd appreciate it. Um, I haven't been on camera in a while. Uh, <laughs> I look kind of funny, but uh, at least that's what I'm seeing here. But that's the way it is. Uh, anyhow, hope you guys have a good month. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. I am not a financial advisor. The information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you.